So I'm going to hit you with something real now. What what what's the latest? WCC tourney. Um, you guys in? I mean, it's going to happen. Hey, I mean, I, again, I think we've been. I, and I, I probably didn't do a great job explaining myself, but uh, uh, and forever on the tournament. I'm not. I'm fine. I wanted to play. We need games, and I'm happy to help give everybody a shot. I, I'm just. I've never been totally great with the idea of taking 10 men and 10 women's teams to Vegas in one venue at the same time and, 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 you know, staying in casinos and riding elevators and all that. So that, that, that's been my take on it forever. I, I just, I don't like that. I, I'm, I don't believe that you get it from playing. I haven't, we've ne- haven't experienced that at all. I don't know that anybody has, um, so I'm happy to play anybody anywhere, but I, I just the uh, off the floor casinos, hanging out, all the people gathered in one. We can't have fans. Um, been very impressed with every venue we've been at this year as far as getting in and getting out in games. I just thought it'd be easier to do them in home homes, you know, home games where everybody's handled it. And and I I feel the same even for the Big Ten and some of these places i don't know you know, unless you're having a significant amount of fans i don't know why you'd have a tournament you're not gonna make any money Coach, so but you no know, it sounds like you know, there'll be a tournament and it's going to be in vegas i i, I and again i i you know gonzaga gets one vote right so uh you know i think everybody else kind of wants it as business as usual so hopefully we can make it i mean we're searching out the safest place maybe to stay and be isolated and all that uh, I mean, the, the kicker for me, guys, was this test in seven days before we can even go to Indy. If we don't test clean seven days before, so that tells me what we've learned over this year with our team is then we got to be pretty much isolated the seven days prior to the testing of the seven days, just after exposures and all that. So um, that falls well below our conference tournament. So we're going to have to kind of hunker down even around here before we head down to our conference tournament. Thing that worries you about the NCAA tournament, Mark? Is there something with just kind of, you know, are you concerned that it's not in a bubble and that, you know, they, they say that if there's one positive test, they're not, they're not halting this thing. You know, life, life goes on with the tournament. Yeah. And I think, I think that's great. I'm really lobbying for, uh, I don't like the 90 day rule, quite frankly, I think, the latest research shows 180 days. And I think if you talk to a lot of coaches, they're very concerned with that because, uh, you know, I, I just, I don't want to see one player on any team be held out unless they're really, really sick. I don't, you know, asymptomatic, a test and all that. We found tests that weren't very accurate and, uh, I, I just that that's my biggest fear. I think these these guys have put up with so much crap this whole year with all the protocols, with no fans, with no environments, with no atmospheres, you know, uh, you know times for months living kind of by themselves on campus and everything. I'm happy as heck that we're going to have fans there. And I think that's going to be a really, really big deal. And I really applaud Dan Gavitt for doing that. I think that's going to be really cool. Uh, but I'm scared about, and I'm scared for every team. I don't want one kid to miss it because anybody who makes it deserves to have it be the best ex- basketball experience of their life, you know, and, and, uh, and we need to do everything we can make sure we get full participation and not limit anybody. You and I talked a couple of weeks ago, uh, cause you had an open date at that point. I forget what happened. Yeah. Um, and you wanted to we play. We tried. <laughs> yeah, you you did. I mean, you, yeah. you really tried to play some people. I won't go yeah. into who it was, and I know yeah. you don't want to go into who it was, but you could have easily said, "Hey, listen, we're going to play the Sisters of the Poor instead, and we're going to try to take our undefeated season here." Why? Why didn't you? Ah, uh, kind of what we talked about earlier. I mean, I think I have a group that just, and I and I talk to them about it. I mean, they want challenges, you know, and they they're. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't know that I'd be opposed to playing one. I don't think we play till Monday of the league tournament. We're done on a Saturday. So, you know, 
I'm crazy enough, as you know, at the black table to maybe take somebody on on Tuesday or Wednesday that week. So, uh, <laughs> uh, just to challenge them. And I, I, to me, it's about just getting us ready for the tournament and back to Robbie's point on, you know, what are we going to face? Well, I mean, we could face great size and face great, you know, off the charts athleticism or, yeah, you know, I, I, I would just look for something along those lines of something like that to really shock our system a little bit, you know? Um, but yeah, we tried, we, we, we really tried and we, we, we were close on a couple things, but scheduling's hard, man. It's, it's, and whatever, you know, every coach knows and does or tries to do what's best for his own team. So I don't, I don't think there's, you can't really judge anybody there. And, and for my team at that point, we were kind of jonesing for something like that. So, 